This international. Welcome along to the Kiwi Whip Sizzler series. My name is Chris Fortune. I'm really excited about these fantastic small portable barbecues. These are barbecues you can take anywhere on the road, in the camper van, on the boats. Small enough to be really portable, big enough to feed the whole farm out. That's what it's all about giving it a go with Kiwi Sizzler barbecues. Today is all about my favorite fish. Now this is the kawai. Look at this, it's magnificent. Beautiful black pupils, it means it's really super fresh. This is New Zealand's fish. It's a great fighting fish, it's great to take the kids out. It's beautiful, it's shiny, it's super fresh. I'd love to say I caught it myself, but this one I found at my local fish store. And the trick with kawai, keep it simple, kissing on the barbecue. We're gonna do it three different ways. We're gonna do it ceviche, which is a French word. It's all about raw fish with coconut, cucumber, red onions. It might be known as ikimata or kokondo if you come from the islands. We're also gonna smoke it. Now kawai is a fantastic fish when it's been smoked and it tastes beautiful. So our first dish today, we're gonna to make some couscous. Now this is really simple. You take couscous and you take the equal quantity of boiling water. So all you have to do, one to one, add it in. We're going to very carefully stir that around. We're gonna cover it in glad wrap. And that's it, that's our couscous made. And it's nice and slowly. Now this should sing to you. This is sharpening our knife, and we slow right down. Once you become a professional, you can speed it up. Now if you're not comfortable doing it that way, you can always put your steel on your board and you can sharpen it away from you. But the idea is we want a nice sharp knife. 22 degrees is the optimal angle. And you let it sing to you. So our knife needs to be nice and sharp. Now we're using a fish knife. This is really bendy. A cook's knife won't be bendy, and that's great for your vegetables, but for our fish, we need this super bendy knife so that it gets in underneath the bones. We've got our kawai, we've got a really super sharp knife. What we're gonna do is we're going to split them open so that we can do our smoking. So what we wanna do is we've removed all of his guts, everything comes out, and then what we're gonna do is run our knife down his backbone, and we wanna cut through the bones because we're gonna split them right in half. It goes all the way down, and our knife is actually touching the bones, and we're gonna butterfly them, okay? So all the way down his backbone. And at this stage, you can take off his head. We wanna keep all of his wings, because that's gonna make the best and the most flavorsome smoking. And we want to basically split them in half, and it's called a butterfly cut. So we've butterflied our kawai, we're then gonna come back down the other side and take out his backbone. So this one here, cut through his ribs, come back down the side, and we're essentially gonna make sure we follow the bones so we don't waste any of the flesh. come right down his backbone. So we've got our kawai, it's been split in half. We're gonna take three parts brown sugar and we're gonna sprinkle that over our fish. And we're gonna take one part salt what we want to do is we want to really work that in. I'm going to take a couple of, pinch, couple of pinches of fennel seeds. And we're going to work that in to the flesh. And the idea is we want to cure it. So what this is going to do with our fish is it's going to draw out some of the moisture. It's going to give it a, the brown sugar helps to give it a really rich smoke. And it's going to help dry out our fillet so that when we're smoking it, the smoke will stick. So, we've got our fish being cured for our smoking process. This one here we're going to turn into ceviche, or raw fish, or coconut fish, ikimata, kokondo, lots of different names for it. But again, kawai is a fantastic fish for doing that. So this time we're going to fillet it. We're going to leave the wings on. We're going to go underneath. 
we're going to come back underneath the spine and we're going to fill it straight down and you're going to We're going to take a skin off. Our knife goes underneath from the tail end and we run it up. Now Kawa has a really dark part of flesh so we're going to take off this wing. And we've got this fantastic fillet of Kawa. Now there's a few bones running down the middle there, so we're just going to take those out and we're going to use a V cut and that's simply following down the middle, making a V and there's all those bones gone. So we've got our fish, we've got our chilli, we've got our salt, pepper, lime juice, a little bit of red onion and we can just finely dice our red onion. On top of this, we're going to pour our coconut cream. And we just want to stir that round. Oh, wow, that's amazing. So it's got this beautiful fresh flavors to it. It's raw fish. It's been marinated in coconut, or lime juice, or lemon juice. It's been seasoned. And we're going to leave that to sit for about 20 minutes minimum, up to two days, it'll sit quite happily. And the longer you leave it to sit, the more that fish is gonna cook as well. Now, kawa is quite a strong fish, so you need to make sure they've got these robust, fresh island flavors to go with it, and that's gonna be absolutely fantastic. Look at that, lovely. This is one of my favorite ways how to cook fish. We've got our kawai fillet. We've cut it in half, we've left the skin on. We're gonna take some tin foil, baking paper, a little bit of oil. Now, this is where you use up all those little bits of lemon left over. You put them down on your baking paper. You take a little bit of red onion or white onion or brown onion, you sprinkle it over top. You take a little bit of spring onion. And this is gonna give freshness and flavor. We take our fillet of fish. We've left all the wing bones on. We're putting on top of our baking paper, a little bit more olive oil down on it. A little bit more red onion. Oh, a little bit more lemon or lime. Goes on top. A little bit of spring onion. Now this is gonna be wrapped up to make this beautiful package that you can then lift from the barbecue. Salt, pepper, And then we're gonna wrap this up so it's a nice, neat little package. And the key to it is to make it so that it steams and barbecues at the same time. So we're gonna fold over the ends. Have a look at this. This is our kawai. Now, this has been butterflied. We've been letting it sit for the last 30 minutes. The sugar and the salt has formed and it's drying out, it's bringing out all the moisture, and that's gonna create this beautiful flavor, it's like a sweet and sour flavor. It's also gonna make sure the fillet's nice and firm so that the smoke will stick to it. It's a really important part of your process. We've left his tail on, because that's the key to picking him up and putting him down. We've left all his wings on, because there's all that beautiful kawai meat underneath there. Our salt and sugar's been mixed with a little bit of fennel seeds, that is fantastic. We're gonna give him a very quick rinse, or you could wipe him down with paper towels, and then he goes into our smoker. We'll get our smoking chips laid down, we've got a kawai sitting on top, the lid goes on, and then it's meths about three quarters full into your container. You have to be very careful, you don't want any spillage. Make sure you're on a good flat surface, 
We want to light the smiths. So we've got a really good flame happening. It's three quarters full of meths. We've got our kawai in here. Hasn't quite started, just starting to smoke in the corner. Lid goes on, it takes eight to 12 minutes. This is one of my favorite fish, smoked kawai. It's a hot smoke. There's basically, it's as simple as you can get. Brown sugar and salt cure to begin with. Fish goes in. Oh, I can't wait to be eating our own very special fish. So we're going to take our first look at our smoked kawai. Ooh, and it should be, it is? Wow, look at that. It's beautiful golden brown. That's the brown sugar and salt working together. It's got the lovely moisture on top. If we have a look, it's just starting to split, which shows the proteins are being cooked. Wow, that is fantastic. The tin fours captured all of our manuka chips so we don't have to clean up a huge big mess. That is some pretty good looking kawai there. So that's our fantastic kawai. It's a really beautiful fish. Look, I love it. Very underrated in New Zealand, but you can do lots of different things with it. We've made ceviche, which is our raw marinated fish, kukondo, ikimata. It's the same thing, cucumber, spring onions. It's beautiful, it's fresh, it's tasty, it's very, very zingy. Mmm, mmm. And kawai being a very strong fish, an oily fish, it suits it really, really well. That's great, the tuna, swordfish, any sort of those game fishes. Mm. Take a look at this. This is our smoked fish. Beautiful and white in the middle. Golden brown on the outside. And put a squeeze of lemon over top of that. Mm. Oh, beautiful manuka flavors. Fresh, tasty. We've got our couscous salad. And we've got our baked kawaii with our spring onions and lemons. Now, Thanks for joining us. My name is Chris Fortune. It's been a pleasure to bring you the Kiwi Sizzler web series of how to cook on these fantastic small barbecues. We've been smoking fish, we've been cooking fish on yachts and boats and clubs in our backyard here. Look, it's all about giving it a go. Keeping it simple, I like to kiss on the barbecue. It means keep it simple, stupid. We've taken this fantastic kawai. It's New Zealand's most favorite fish. Great for the kids to catch. We've turned it into smoked fish. We've turned it into marinated fish and baked fish. It's very, very simple, eight to 10 minutes, can't go wrong. Check out all our Kiwi Sizzler videos on our website, and don't forget to catch, clean, and cook. Mm -hmm.